Yes, it's time for another fashion segment. Something really special coming up by one of the most renowned designers of our country. The only Indian designer to be listed in Esquire magazine, 50 best menswear stores in the world. Apart from being the creative director for launching Amazon fashion in India, he has also styled Bollywood stars such as Mr. Bachchan Amir Khan, Priyanka Chopra, just to name a few, and has styled Bollywood's seminal film Fashion by Madhur Bandarkar as well. He has also helped launch India's Fashion Week and Lakme Fashion Week and represented India at the Biennale in saint Etienne, France. The marriage of Shaila Patel opening at the Brisbane International Film Festival in 2017, in which he was a part of as well. He has also spearheaded in corporate designs that has been a leading area of work for having him with India's leading hotel chains, such as Taj Group, JW Marriott, just to name a few. In the world of sustainable fashion, he has also launched his own couple of his own brands, such as FKNS, Fake News, which was launched in 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like you to introduce you to our next fashion segment, which is a fashion show which has been very well awaited all evening. Sit back and enjoy Narendra Kumar. Hello and good evening to all you drunk people, not so drunk people, as yet people. It's really, really wonderful to see so many people together, so many nice people together after two and a half years. And I need to thank Jimmy for this and TLC for making this evening happen. People, people say and there was a famous author who said, clothes make it a man. That is true because you size up someone in the first 15 seconds of seeing them from the clothes they wear. But clothes mean nothing today without a story. We live in a world where the moment you switch on your phone in the morning or at night, you have given up your life to a company that will sell your data for profit. We live in an age of surveillance society and more appropriately is called capitalism surveillance. How we monetize every click on your phone is the world that we populate today, now and for the future. And some of you will be asking, what the hell has this got to do with fashion? Today, fashion for us as a brand has always been about telling stories, relating to how our society is changing and how our society is evolving. Fashion is not just about Milan, Paris or the Taj Mahal, but it's about people. It's about how we're changing. As an artist, one's job is to reflect society through whatever medium they work with. Uh, for me, fashion really has been about how we're changing as a society and what are the impact that it has had on us. From dressing up Mr. Jeff Bezos to Mr. Shah Rukh Khan to Mr. Akshay Kumar to fashion through Amir Khan through all the celebrities. A important part of my career has always been about telling the story about who we are and what we live as a people today. So doing clothes that are sustainable, recyclable, made from recycled plastic, all part of a journey 
that leads to a story that I built over the last four years and to a brand that I launched four years ago. The brand was launched the six months after Trump was elected in America in 2016. And the single most important thing I realized that would be part of our life for now and forever, unlike marriage, is fake news. And the brand that you will see today is called FKNS, which stands for fake news. And today, after four years of Trump, when someone asked me what FKNS stands for, I would say it is F star 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 nose. And, and as part of what we want to do, we are going to show you a showcase a small show. The idea is really to think about the age that we live in, what we are giving up to do everything that we want to do every day in our lives, what price we are paying for it. One has seen it in America, one has seen it in uh, across the globe. How countries and people are being polarized using your data. And the film that we are going to showcase today is based on two books. One was written in 1948 and the other written in 1931. It is both those books seen through the eyes of fashion and through a brand that talks to the younger generation that does not or has not experienced this life. The book is The Brave New World by Ardless Huxley and 1984 by George Orwell. And one talks about how institutions use coercion to change your mind and the other talks about how they use distraction to change your mind. So here's fashion, distraction, coercion in 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. Enjoy. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that even my mama thinks that my mind is gone. But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it. Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of. You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking. Or you and your homies might be lying in chalk. I really hate the trip, but I gotta low. As they croak, I see myself in the pistol smoke. Fool, I'm the kind of G the little homies wanna be like on my knees in the night, saying prayers in the street light. The situation they got me facing I can't live a normal life I was raised by the state So I gotta be down with the hood team Too much television watching Got me chasing dreams I'm an educated fool with money on my mind Got my tin in my hand And a gleam in my eye I'm a loped out gangster set tripping banker And my homies is down So don't arouse my anger Fool, death ain't nothing but a heartbeat away I'm living life do a die What can I say? I'm 23 now, but will I live to see 24 the way things are going? I don't know. Tell me why are we so blind? I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long That even my mama thinks that my mind is gone But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it